pets, you know they can pretty much get into anything. But some common household items can actually be dangerous for them. Well, joining us in studio is a vet and an assistant and a pet to help tell us more about those dangers. Let's send things over to Howard Dashevsky. All right, thank you very much, Gene and Marissa. Yeah, we always have to have our animal. I have Dr. Candace Denham of the uh, Kailua Animal Clinic, and this is Taylor, one of the assistants there on the windward side. And this is Kylo trying to be a real good boy and stay uh, on the chair. Playing with the tennis ball, which can be safe until they chew the felt off of it. But there's so many hidden dangers that we have around our house, and you've kind of seen it all over the years, haven't you? That's right. I mean, there's several different things that we take for granted that we have a around the house that could potentially be dangerous to pets. Um, a lot of things that I see, one of my favorite snacks is chocolate, and that's probably one of the more common things that I see. Um, pets ingesting and uh, you know we have medications for humans as well as their own medications if they're not taking them at the proper dosage they could cause some some danger okay uh, different things you find around the house uh, Advil and chocolate these are you mentioned chocolate how much is too much if a dog eats a, a cookie that has a little chocolate do you worry or is it really if they get into the whole box and really start scarfing down and the same with Advil if they chew one or two is that a problem or what is the number, where's the threshold where you, you better take action? Right. Well, there's different numbers for different uh, toxins. It depends on the, and the size. And the weight of the dog, yeah, too. Yeah, it depends on the size of the dog, um, the amount of the, the toxin. Uh, chocolate being one of them. Most of the, the toxicity we see is with dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, the milk chocolates are not quite as bad. Um, but again, you know, they, they can cause a range of symptoms ranging from uh, just some mild GI upset to cardiac arrhythmias. Um, and then sometimes even death, you know. We have some prescription medication, not only human form, but pet form. You got to put these things in a drawer. You got to get them out of the way because we know a lot of dogs are counter rangers and they go, well, they reach up and start grabbing. That's correct. And, and a lot of the canine uh, medications are flavored to make it easier to dose them. So if you have a flavored uh, product that you're using, uh, such as pain medicine, and that's a really common one that dogs mm -hmm. get, um, you know, taking one or two of those tablets is safe, but you know, going beyond that dosage range can be very damaging to their kidneys. Uh, battery, obviously, for many reasons, especially right. if they chew it, the acid in the battery. Sure. A big chunky piece of gravel uh, that I have here as you're looking at this list of some of the things that are really bad. By the way, peanut butter. I thought peanut butter was fine for dogs. Well, peanut butter is mostly okay, but they're coming out with new formulations now that have an artificial sweetener in it mm -hmm. called xylitol, and that can be very toxic to, do oh. to, to dogs, and a very small amount. Okay, good right to know. Uh, gravel that we use uh, decoratively around the house. Sure. If they swallow it, uh, I don't want to think about this coming out. That would not be pleasant. Right. And then we have golf balls. So, see, any small balls around the house that they could swallow. We have video. We have a dog named Porter that this is a dog who actually came into your clinic. He's not happy because he has golf balls in his belly. Now, what you're going to see in the x ray. Don't look for a round ball. The two little lights, because they're glow-in-the-dark balls, right? Right. Well, and those those parts are metal, so those show up on x-rays a little bit easier than the plastic outer round. Um, uh, so that's why you're seeing those things, because it's a light... Um light up ball. Okay, so how did we get the balls out? Naturally or no, they're too big? Right, well these these were actually small enough to pass through, but because he was having GI upset um, and he wasn't able to throw up um, in a lot of circumstances, depending on the foreign body that we have, we can induce vomiting. We don't recommend doing that at home because there's a lot of different uh, toxins that it's not recommended for. Um, but in this case, we tried to make him vomit that ball. and He, he did one, but he wouldn't <laughs> do the other one and he was feeling sick so we went ahead and and surgically removed it okay bottom line just be careful keep your eye on a dog and oh, very quickly uh, animal poisons rat traps snail bait you've said you've seen uh, dogs and cats come in with cockroach traps on yeah, their face yeah. well depending on what type of trap it is if it's an adhesive trap then that yeah that could be potentially irritating to the tissue it's not going to not like going to hurt yeah. them but you just got to use a little dawn or oil to get yeah, it off oil, your same mineral yeah. oil sure all right we're losing think... kylo it's okay he can go go chase after the ball yeah uh, but, but timing is critical i think that if you know that your dog has ingested some Thing, it's really important to contact the vet right away because in certain circumstances timing makes a difference um, yeah. you know especially with those toxic things that they ingest if we can get them within the first two hours and induce vomiting we can really reduce the symptoms that they experience related to that toxin and not only save the dog a lot of trauma but your wallet too That's because right. these uh, bills can run quickly uh, escalate up into the thousands too. right right on well always appreciate it yeah. dr. Candace Denham from the Kylo Animal Clinic Thanks, uh, Tay, and thanks to Kylo over there.
They're having fun. He was a good boy he for a long good time. So for yeah. a few minutes. <laughs> okay, uh, but chocolates are good for humans to eat. So thank you very much for bringing these. We're going to send it back to you, ladies. <laughs>